Hey guys, welcome back to the farm, to the new farm. Um, today we are stripping bark, off, sheep, uh, we're stripping bark off of some cedar, eastern red cedar, in order to allow it to dry a little bit quicker and to be able to kill any potential wood destroying organisms. Uh, we've there, There's a couple different types of beetles that really like the cambium layer of eastern red cedar. Uh, we're finding a whole bunch of their larvae in here and so we are stripping the bark, stripping the cambium, getting down to the sapwood and then we will cut this into one foot lengths, dip them in a borax solution and, uh, and then this will become a cordwood house. So this is the very beginning of the whole process and we've selected our house site, we've cleared it, we've taken down, uh, oh gosh, not nearly enough, but a whole bunch of cedar trees. Um, and we're just starting to process them. So hopefully this will be a little bit quicker process than our last homestead, which was a straw bale home uh, atop an earth bag foundation. This time we're gonna do a, a concrete and stone foundation and then a stacked cordwood wall atop that. Um, and so that's kind of the whole plan there. Today, we are using just a big bushcraft knife. Uh, I can't find my draw knife. And it's, uh, it's a federal holiday, so not many places are open. So we couldn't go get a spoke shave or a draw knife. I would suggest if anybody is tuning in and is interested in doing a cordwood home, because you have a lot of bark to strip, I would recommend finding yourself a draw knife. Um, it is definitely the tool for the job. In lieu of that though, you can make you can make a, uh, a large knife into a draw knife, take a piece of wood on this end, drive your knife into the wood, and then you have two handles. Um, I'm not doing that. I find that that's actually less efficient. I can just run my knife along it at the proper angle and remove whole big strips of it. You can see that, how quick that goes. Um, this is definitely not the most efficient method of building a home, but if you need to clear some land that's overgrown with small trees anyway, uh, and you wanna put them to good use, this is a great way to do it and to get a home for almost free. Um, our projected budget for this house is, uh, well, if we don't use framing for the walls, but instead use all cordwood, our projected budget for our home is about $8,000 material cost. There's no labor calculation in that. That is just materials. Um, but that's for an 800 square foot home. So that's pretty affordable for anybody who's trying to li uh, live on a budget, build a home on a budget but it is a lot of work. So thanks for checking out our videos. We're going to uh, we're going to continue filming this process and the process of a couple other cordwood homes that we're going to be building and helping build. Um, so we are really excited about this new, this new part of Storehouse Farms. And uh, so make sure to like us on Facebook, uh, Twitter, YouTube and all of that. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We really do appreciate it. It helps our videos actually show up when you're looking for them. Um, and so we here at Storehouse Farms, thank you very much for your patronage. We did find one of our two draw knives. And uh, so we're gonna show that in practice. A little bit more efficient than just a single handled blade. I used to build uh, bows, long bows and recurves for a living. So I've run a draw knife a lot in my life. Uh, is the tool for this job. The cedar sap builds up so quick and so heavily on your hands and on your blade that uh, it actually makes your knife feel as if it's dull after a little while. 
and so then you have to go and clean up your clean up your edge because you'll have stuff that'll hang up on your on your uh, trailing edge of your blade and it'll build up to the point where then it'll inhibit the lead edge of your blade and it just makes it feel like it's dull when in fact it's just nasty balls of cedar sap huh. so um, Quite interesting wood, really. Hey guys, so uh, earlier we were discussing the processing of uh, cedar logs to be able to make cordwood, um, to be able to build our home, right? To be able to use this as the basic portion of our wall structure. So here we have a double pile. It's, uh, I stepped it off, it's like 14 feet long, and, and let's see, uh, two and a half feet tall, but it's a double, so it'd be five feet by 14 foot. And so, and then again, about 50% is mortar, 50% is wood, or give or take on that approximate ratio. Um, but so therefore we can extrapolate that out and voila, we have almost a whole wall, almost one whole wall of our house. Uh, this pile to debark it, split a bunch of it, stack it. I think that my wife and I, between the two of us, were six hours in on this, six or eight maybe. Um, so it's going really pretty well. We're excited about this process. This is something that we wanted to do for a long time is to build with uh, cordwood. Fortunately, this forest is completely filled up with cedar, eastern red cedar. So we're kind of doing a, a good service to the forest by clearing out, thinning out some of the cedars, um, allowing for more of the deciduous forest to be able to come up underneath it. Uh, so we're, we're excited about it. So another update that we have is this right here. Uh, so this is the dirt work and the footer trench that we have dug for uh, for our house site. It's 24 by 32, so it's a pretty good size for two people. Um, and we brought in a mini excavator the other day. We kind of leveled up the pad to some extent and uh, dug a footer with is solid bedrock about a foot down right here which conveniently that's also frost depth around here is about 11 inch so we're going to be building our house upon the rock right upon solid bedrock um, so that's exciting 
Then we got a trench for our plumbing. And so next steps, next steps we are bringing in a little bit of concrete. Uh, prior home we built a little bit more sustainably. This time we are going to use some concrete instead of earth bags. This soil here is to, to what's called friable. Friable is the term to where the soil just kind of falls apart. It just sloughs off. It doesn't form into anything. It's super, super fine sand. So because of that, we, we don't feel like it's uh, like earth bags will work properly for what we're doing here. So we're going to pour a little bit of concrete and then atop that is going to sit our cordwood and so we're going to we're going to use that method um, and this is where we currently are stay tuned for the process it's going to start getting pretty cool we're excited so thanks for checking out our video